Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export from Blender and not have to deal with any axes problems or scaling problems within the Unity editor. If you've ever tried to export from Blender into Unity and you've got like 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees on X and 100 scales and things like that, then this is the video for you. I'm Hayden from polyfable.com, the website that helps you bring your stories to life. Now, to get started, it's very, very simple. All that we're gonna do is we're gonna have an object that we wanna export into Unity, and we're going to navigate up to here, File, and then Export, and then from there, we're gonna do an FBX export. Now, you can export others, but FBX is the most common, so we're gonna go with it. Upon clicking on that, you'll have access to a window like this. We're mostly interested in the settings over here on the right-hand side. If you do not see these settings, you can simply click on the cog, should it be grayed out. That will hide and show those settings. Now, what we wanna do is first, I'm gonna limit this to selected objects. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna come down to our transform submenu. From here, we're gonna say apply scaling and we're gonna say FBX all. After that forward, we're gonna put negative Y forward. And then the final trick of the Blender side of the puzzle is to turn off Use Space Transform. Okay, let's now export this as example and export. Perfect. So let's now open up Unity and see what happens. Okay, here we are in Unity and here is example. As you can see, there's a slight problem. If we look at this and let's just even bring it into this Unity scene let's just drag and drop it in and look oh negative 90 problem and that's very easily fixed but uh you will see that the scale is working as corrected but let's fix this up shall we let's go to example and then we're going to in the fbx options under model turn on bake axis conversion and apply as you can see, that now looks very, very good, and it is pointing in the correct orientation. So if we were to press play now, everything should work as it is. And there she is, all happy. Good old Suzanne. Perfect, I hope that this helps you out when importing your objects into Unity. I know that a lot of you aren't as invested in Unity as you might have been a couple of weeks ago, but I will still be making Unity videos, but for my personal projects, such as this one, I'm probably gonna be porting it to another game engine. I think Unity is one of the best editors out there, but until there is a marked and long change in attitude from the higher ups at Unity, I personally cannot suggest it for smaller and independent projects. If you are doing a larger project, I would recommend Unreal, but with that all said, Unity is still a very important piece of the industrial puzzle, and it's still gonna be around for a very long time, and it is well worth learning, especially if you wanna get into the game development industry. So this has been Hayden from polyfable.com. If you're interested in courses and levels dedicated to teaching you how to tell stories with technology, such as the one I'm showing you here, then head over to polyfable.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that this helps.